All right, everyone. Today was very exciting and ironic um, for why I got in the mail. Which, firstly, I got these three along with it because I wanted to uh, spend over a hundred dollars, so I would get free packet, uh, free shipping, basically. So I got it all the same price I'd get in the store. But why um, buy it online when you know it could have been cheaper? Like, or easier to get, and I wouldn't have to have waited as long to get the pop finals. Um, well, it is because I got this very special thing. Now, this is why I'm saying it's ironic, because if you know what uh, was leaked today, you know. If you don't, consider yourself lucky. Um, I didn't watch it, so I'm very happy. I, I want to see the scene in cinemas, but it's kind of obvious what this is hinting at here, the three creatures, what they, what's going to happen between them, um, yeah, I, I will not spoil anything, I didn't even watch the scene, um, but it's kind of obvious these three are going to be in it, but yeah, I didn't watch the scene, there'll be no spoilers, don't worry about that, but it's, it's very cool to get all of these three guys in the one pack, um, because, and not only that, but if we get, say, a normal pop final box, right, it's not as visible. You've got the line, the, like this line here and this line here, and then kind of this. But with this, it's just completely open. There's no line. It's completely clear, so you can get a really good visual of all of these, plus the bonus of special edition being put on the packaging is always fun. So... Yeah, this is the three pack Therizinosaurus versus Giganotosaurus versus T Rex. You can see three pack right there. So, yeah, I didn't want to buy these individually. I was like, I want to wait because the three pack is so much more awesome and has like a cool reference to what will happen in Dominion, at least, I believe. So, there you go. Three pack again. This is really cool on the side. You can just see the little head sticking up, there's nothing below it just that but yeah there's that and then on top you can see their head sticking up as well that's really cool and just cute and on the back you have a big pictures of them and then you have the collection over here basically now um i just want to quickly say alan grant is actually a special edition exclusive i think to walmart but there's no walmarts in australia so luckily the place i was getting it at was like a collector's place called aussie collectibles so, thankfully I got it there, and they had it. They had everything, basically. So that was really cool. But now, what I want to do is open this up. How Will it be easy to open it up? I feel like there's kind of... It's it's not going to be like... Um, no, it won't be like normal pop file boxes. This is stuck on there. So, the only way you get through is to cut it. Let's do that. Alright, so, it, it, it kind of makes sense why it was stuck together, because it's really loose back here once it's not stuck together. But here they are, all three of them, that's extremely cool. And what makes me even more happy I got this, is the fact it comes with backing, so can have a cool little stand that's exclusive to this pop vinyl only, um, the three pack, so that's extremely cool. Definitely worth getting. If you want all three of these, I would recommend the three pack over buying them individually. Just because this is so awesome. And I might take a picture with all of my pop files in front of this backing. But let's turn it around. And I will get them out. So give me a couple of seconds. Alright, well, here they are. All of my pop files. Now they are unboxed. We have the Giga looking extremely cool. We've got uh, two scars on this side and then three slashes on this side. So that's extremely cool. And it's got the nice spike hump, I guess. I don't know if nice. I, I reckon it's cool. It adds on to its design, I guess. Um, the back of Therizinosaurus really helps it stand out. Because from the front, it kind of looks like a parrot, almost. But then the back, the, 
the cool red feathering. It's just awesome. And then this T-Rex, I believe, looks completely new, or, like, the colouring is new, and I'm a really big fan of it, so definitely happy with this bundle. And then, yeah, we have our Alan Grant, Ali Sattler. We have Ghost, which was our very first Jurassic World Dominion pop file. Panthera was our second. Then we got Blue and Beta whilst we were waiting for these guys to show up. I got Beta in, Blue and Beta in the shops. And then Ian Malcolm. So, what I want to do, actually, is because with Mattel uh, and Lego, I have these six creatures, Beta included. Um, as variants, so I want to compare like all the variants. Um, there is of Lego and the Mattel ones because I reckon it'll look really cool. All right, so yeah, wow. <laughs> um, four of each creature. Uh, we have a minis Mattel, a pop file, normal size Mattel. And then Lego, so that's for Ghost. Then it, it's repeated throughout all of them. Mini Therizinosaurus, Pop Vinyl, Lego, normal size Mattel version. Then we have the Mini Giga, Pop Vinyl Giga, Lego Giga. Then we have, uh, it's not accurate to this guy, obviously. Uh, I just don't want to spend the money on the upcoming ones, to be entirely honest. I'm pretty happy with the one I've got here. Uh, yeah, um, I got these in a two-pack, so I was just pretty happy with that, to have a Mattel Giga. And it was technically my first Mattel T-Rex, besides the mini one. Uh, why? I don't know. I guess I just had too many Lego T-Rexes. Uh, then this is technically my second uh, T-Rex pop vinyl because I have a mini one from the uh, playset game, I think. Then over here we have Blue and Beta, the pop vinyl, of course. That's really cool that those two came together. Of course, they had to do a pop vinyl of Beta somehow, so I'm glad they incorporated that. Then one of our multiple Lego Blues, our first Lego Beta. And then this is uh, Blue, but I'm calling it Beta because we have a big version of blue there and then the Mattel version is a blue and beta so yeah I'm really happy with that just so awesome uh we could almost even do it with Dilophosaurus because I have a three three pop vinyls of Dilophosaurus actually a red one a normal one with the frill out and then the limited edition one with uh the frill not out um but the problem is it's embarrassing, but I don't have a Mattel Dilophosaurus. I should have bought the one with Claire, but... I don't know, I kind of just wanted Beta and Owen, because I like Beta. But... I do have a bunch of, like, Dilophosauruses. So... But there are no mini Dilophosauruses yet, so I'm waiting on them, because I know they're coming in... Actually, Wave 2, maybe, so... 1st of June, maybe I'll end up buying a Mattel Dilophosaurus if I can... Get a hold of the legacy one. Oh, because there's going to be a legacy Dilophosaurus, isn't there? That'll be good. Now yeah, I might get that and uh, one of the minis. But yeah, what do you guys think? Here are all of my <laughs> my variations, variants of uh, the six different creatures. Beta, Blue, Rexy, Giga, Therizinosaurus, and Ghost the Atrociraptor. What do you guys think of them? Do I have one of the biggest collections for the variants, basically? Uh, I'd say so, maybe, because I've collected one of each different version. And uh, the only thing I'm missing is the uncaged ones. I have a version of Blue and Beta for uncaged and Rexy. However, Ghost, Therizinosaurus, and Giga don't have any yet. They're getting some in Wave 2, so I might pick up there is, along with the Ceratosaurus that's coming out. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone!